Hi, this is a demonstration of long range Pi robot with obstacle detection system. So this is an innovative system that can be operated by the user over very large distances. So actually this can be operated, uh, you know, from the world, from worldwide, from any distance because it uses DTF technology, which allows the user to pass uh, control commands through data messages sent over cell phone networks. So this uh, system uses an uh, A0 fan family microcontroller which is connected to the driver motors uh, using a driver IC and also to a spy camera and uh, the ultrasonic uh, obstacle detection system. So the obstacle detection system is, to, is used to de detect obstacles since the user is at a very long range from the robotic vehicle. So if it encounters an obstacle the sensor detects it and instructs the microcontroller. The microcontroller then stops the robot to take uh, necessary actions. The necessary actions include, you know, uh, the robot actually stops when an obstacle is detected and waits for uh, user's next command to start moving. So, and the system is also interfaced with the spy camera, which uh, sends the feed or the you know, live footage of the robot to uh, wirelessly to a PC. So the spy camera currently has a limited range because it's a demonstration system. So now let's see how the system works. Let's uh, connect a mobile phone here on the robot. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to call this mobile phone from another mobile phone and then pass messages so that this mobile can convey those messages to DTMF to the robotic vehicle and so we can uh, you know eventually move the robotic vehicle. So now we have made a call here, so let's pick up this call. So if you don't need to pick up your, you can automate the system by setting the cell phone on the robotic vehicle to auto answer mode so that it will automatically answer the call and pick it up. And now since we have been connected through uh, the call, we can now send uh, commands for movement from this cell phone here. So now let's send a forward command. So maybe let's send a backward command. So now let's stop it. So this is the stop command. Similarly, let's see left and right motions. So now let's check the obstacle detection functionality. Let's first move the robot in forward direction. So now let's simulate an obstacle here. Let's bring an obstacle. So as you can see, if an obstacle has been encountered, it uh, stops there and wait for user's next command. Now let's send the next command here. So now let's stop it now. So as you can see, this is how the robotic system works uh, at uh, very long distances. And since user is not there to uh, check where it is going, uh, it also has an uh, obstacle detection uh, system here to avoid any uh, obstacle collision with the robot. So now let's see a live de working demonstration of the system.